Hey Chris, uh, Colin Gay Rivals. I'm curious, at what point, or did you see kind of a life defensively because of what Kyle Young was be able, able to provide? It seemed like, whether it was in the backcourt with Jamari, Malachi, it seemed like there was a little bit more life defensively. Than you yeah, I mean, I, we've said it every game he's been out. You know, it's, it's versatility. You know, without justice in particular, uh, in, in Kyle, we lacked versatility. And Gene's done a good job helping with that. But uh, he just provides a bunch, it's so much on both ends. And a lot of it's versatility. You know, I mean, been saying it, you know, for really two years now. So it's, and it's evident in a game like this. Jared Smalley, uh, NBC in Columbus. Chris, about having Zed and Kyle, defensive versatility, very clear. You, clearly you're a different defensive team with them. Yeah. But more than that, psychologically, emotionally, when you get in the locker room, they're available. Did you notice a change in your team? Did you notice an attitude change, sure. an adjustment? How, how did that factor in? I think it just it, it elevates the confidence of your group when you know you're – we're not at full strength, right, but we're at, at closer to full, full strength. So I think it just elevates the confidence of everybody. And listen, we talked about it. We've, we've been a very good team when we've – you know, we, we haven't had the team we thought we were going to have all year, but when we've had the group that's helped us win games, we've, we've been a really good team. We've had really good wins. And I'm not putting that all of our losses on, on injuries by no stretch. We've played poorly at times at full strength, but, but they make a difference, and I think that elevates the confidence of our guys. Griffin Storm, 11 Warriors. Coach, just given the way that some of your guys' games uh, went down the stretch, and obviously you've uh, critiqued the defense on, on several occasions, what gave you the confidence that you could go into this game with that type of game plan and the confidence to win a rock fight, like you said, given the fact that the defense hadn't necessarily played up to the standards leading into this game? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, listen, I, I watch every game. I, I, but the whole, <clears throat> this whole, you know, I think narratives get played on social media and all that that, that is just not, not really accurate. We, we just focused on winning the next possession. And, um, you know, we felt like our defense really, we could hang our hat on our defense right now. And, um, and we did that. And we, we've not, when we've, when we've struggled closing games, and, I, you know, I answered that question last week, it's because our defense has not been sound enough for long enough. Spencer Holbrook, Letterman wrote, Chris, you, uh, you met your guys out at midcourt about 15 minutes ago. Loyola had just called a timeout, and your first message to them was settle, settle down. You guys had just taken like a 10-point lead. How important was it to make sure – I asked you about the roller coaster yesterday. How important was it to make sure that you guys knew not to get too high in that moment? Yeah, I mean, they're a really good team. They're a really good team. You know, they got great spirit to them. Uh, they're, they're a legitimate one of the best teams in the country. There's no question. So – um, I think that the focus needed to be on winning this possession out of the timeout, and that's kind of what I said to him. Bill Landis from The Athletic. Chris, uh, I think with about seven minutes left, I, I looked over to your bench. You guys were defending, and everyone on your bench was standing. Coaches and players were just, you know, m maybe as into it as I've seen you guys this season as your guys were, were on the floor d defending. Yeah. Um, I'm just, like, how, how much of a constant conversation has that been with your team all year to get to the point where you've defended as consistently as you did today? Yeah, you know, Bill, I think they've – it really comes down to ownership with them. Um, and, uh, and obviously, as coaches, we're constantly seeking ways that we can do a better job um, at, uh, at putting our guys in, in position defensively. Um, but I think it ultimately the effort piece comes down to ownership on their part, and they were as, as bought in and as owned um, – as, as they've been all year for sure on that end. It, it was the best defensive performance uh, we've really had in a couple of years. Jerry DePaul of Pittsburgh Tribune Review. I, a moment ago, two of your guys used the same phrase, set the rules early in the game. Is that a mindset that you guys, you know, want to set the rules early in the game so the team knows what they're up against? Yeah, it's one of, the, it's one of our core tenets that we talk about. It's, it's one of our one of our four things that we talk about. So it's what we try to do every game. We don't always do it as well as we'd like to, but it's what we try to do every game. Last question for Coach, right here. Adam Jardy, Columbus Dispatch. Chris, you, you just mentioned narratives on social media, and obviously there was pressure coming into this game given how the end of the season had gone. And I know you guys had internal confidence that you'd be healthy and that would make a difference. But what were like maybe the 48 hours leading into this game like for you, and what did it feel like to come out of it with a win? For me personally? Yeah. Um, you know, Adam, you, you really have tunnel vision as much as anything during these times. Uh, listen, it's, it's, um, 
you know, it's not pleasant when things, when people say negative things about you. And, uh, you know, I never got into coaching, you know, for any type of notoriety, positive press or, or negative press. So it's, it's always an adjustment for you when, when you, when you have, uh, uh the criticism and, um, but it, it comes with the territory. Uh, and I understand that pressure is a privilege and we certainly as a group felt pressure to perform at a, at a more consistent level. We felt confident we could do it at full strength. Um, you know, I told him, you know, I've been to seven of these things. My first experience was, was here. Um, and we played a good Texas team, beat a good Texas team, and then lost in a really close game to Notre Dame. So um, we've got good good memories of a place like this. But really, it's really tunnel vision right now uh, when it comes to those kind of things. And, you know, now it's moving on to whoever we play next. Thank you, Coach.